Welcome back to the channel. I'm C.B. Harris. Welcome back to the Monday Commute. Today I want to talk to you guys about uh, women in combat roles in the military. Uh, the Secretary of Defense recently announced that he was opening up all combat jobs to women in the military. I know what you guys are going to think that I'm going to go with, but I'm actually okay with this. I really am. I'm, I'm good with women in combat roles in the military. Now, I did like the fact that uh, in the press conference he stated that they would meet the standards. They had to meet the standards. Standards wouldn't change. There would not be two standards, one for men and one for women. And uh, that there would be no quotas. There wasn't going to be a minimum number of women required to be put into combat roles. My one issue is this. Um, I don't think that we can get really and truly gender equality in the military until we do one of two things. One of two things really needs to happen. Um, when I turned 18, I had to sign up for selective service. As did every man in the United States. It's required by law. Um, good luck finding a job if you didn't sign up for selective service. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of jobs will ask you, hey, what is your selective service number? I, I, I just retired from the military. Uh, when I was applying for jobs, I had to put down my selective service number. The only way we're going to get true gender equality is either women, when they turn 18, have to also sign up for selective service. I don't know if the American people are ready for that, because that is basically saying we could draft uh, women if it came to that. If it came to the need for having a draft, they could draft women. I don't know if the American people are really ready for that, but I think that's the only way that we can truly be fair. Uh, well, I guess there is one other way. We could do away with selective service completely. We haven't had a drafted military in a very long time, and it works well having an all-volunteer force. But I think that if future conflict requires it, we need to have that option available. So I know that my opinion might not be the most popular on this subject, so if you're ready to go ahead and start bashing me, why don't you waltz on down to the comment section and leave a comment down below. Uh, if you like this video, or if you didn't and you want to uh, recruit some friends to get on here and bash me as well, go ahead and like and share the video. Be sure to come back every Monday for the Monday Commute and on Thursdays for Thursday's Training Tip. If you have any video suggestions, go ahead and leave that down in the comment section as well, or you can send me an email at bombbuster72 at gmail.com. And until next time, take care and drive safe.